Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are trying out sunscreen. Woo! It's been a minute or two since I've last talked about sunscreen. In today's video, we're going to be using the Thank You Pharma Sun Project Water Sun Cream. This is SPF 50 PA++ and this is 50 mils. I'm currently in between sunscreens, so I've decided to give this a second go. I first used this in the summertime, but this broke me out in a nasty rash, so I stopped using it. But because I'm desperate and I'm waiting for a new sunscreen to arrive in the post, I am back to using this because I did like it before it broke me out in a rash. So yeah, I don't wanna keep you guys here for too long, so let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, okay guys, so like I said, in today's video, we're going to be using the Thank You Pharma Sun Project Water Sun Cream. This is SPF 50. This is also a chemical sunscreen. I bought this from Cult Beauty a couple of months ago. I did a huge sunscreen haul and this is the last sunscreen left to try. I was using this when did I use? I used this in the summer, but about a week into using this, I did break out in a rash, so I stopped using it. However, I don't know why, but I didn't throw it away because I did genuinely really like this sunscreen. It's been a little while since I've done a sunscreen video, so I just thought I would share my thoughts on the sunscreen in case any of you guys have seen it, you're interested in it, you want to know what it's about. Even though it did give me a rash, I'm gonna use my face today as a guinea pig for you guys, just so that you can see what this looks like on dark skin as well. So I guess a bit of basic background on this, Thank You Pharma is a South Korean skincare brand. We all know K-Beauty is just top notch. South Koreans know a thing or two about, well, a thing or 10 about sunscreen. So really anytime I come across a product that is from South Korea, I'm a bit more biased towards it just because I know that they really care about their skin over there and I'm just, I'm just in awe of South Korea in general, to be honest. So I have the Cold Beauty website site open down here and I'm just going to read what they have to say about the sunscreen before we get into using and I talk to you about my experiences with this sunscreen. This sunscreen has 5 out of 5 stars based on 352 reviews and this is 50 mil and 18 pounds. I did see on Google, let me have a quick look, you can get this for 14 pound 30 from tonic15.com but apart from that most places that I'm seeing this, this is about 18 pounds. You can get this for 23 three dollars on soco glam or you can get this for fourteen dollars ten from yes style 12.29 from stylevana.com i'm just looking through google right now but i think if you just have a look on google you can i'm seeing a range of different prices for this so make sure you check this out type thank you farmer sunscreen into google basically and see what prices come up if you are interested in using this cult beauty says a beautiful moisturizer meat sunscreen thank you farmers sun project water sun cream spf 50 plus has an ultra lightweight texture that diffuses beautifully infusing skin with precious water thanks to high levels of hyaluronic acid while deflecting dna damaging rays Plumping and thirst quenching, this grants a natural dewy finish with no chalky cast, while the inclusion of mistletoe extract helps stimulate cellular turnover, encouraging repair and renewal processes to minimize the damage caused through everyday exposure to the sun and oxidative stress. In terms of how to use, they say that after basic skincare, take a proper amount of the product, then spread evenly on the area that will be exposed to sun. Use before exposure to sun, apply again to maintain protection, especially after sweating, swimming, or wiping with a towel. Ooh, interesting they also do say do not use on damaged or irritated skin skin with wounds eczema and dermatitis okay guys so now that all of that stuff's out of the way let's get into using so i can talk to you about my thoughts on this sunscreen okay guys so let's rub in while we're here so there are a couple of things that I like about this sunscreen, which we will start with. This is incredibly lightweight. If you're one of those people who you don't like sunscreen because you find sunscreens to be quite heavy and thick and gross, I think you might like this because this is very lightweight. It's very smooth. It's got a nice like fruity floral scent to it. Depending on if you like your sunscreens to have a fragrance in it or not, you might not like this, but this definitely does have a fragrance. It smells light, it smells lightweight, it kind of feels like I'm in an apple orchard. I don't know, it's just giving me like chill vibes. I like how, as you can see, it rubs in really well. There is no white cast, there's no real discoloration. Although that said, when you first rub it in, it kind of looks like it's gonna go a bit, um, like a bit purpley. And sometimes in the day when I catch myself in the mirror, I sometimes do look a bit purple, but then when I just turn to look in a different light, I'm brown. I don't know why, why that is or what that is. But for the most part, it just rubs in brown, you look brown. 
if you're brown if you're black you'll just look like your normal skin color as you can see also it gives you a nice kind of glow i really like it i did use this with makeup back when i was first trying this out so this does work well with makeup your makeup just glides on the top really well so that's another plus especially you know with everything opening up now and we're going out you still want to be able to wear makeup and not have it pill i think also the lightweightness of the sunscreen makes it easier to reapply throughout the day you don't feel like you're just layering on sunscreen on top of sunscreen on top of sunscreen like it does really sink into your skin so when you are reapplying like three to four hours time and you put a new layer on it doesn't feel suffocating at all another thing that i noticed is after about after about 20 minutes you don't really feel anything on your face sometimes with sunscreens you're still feeling the product on your face throughout the day which i guess isn't necessarily a bad thing but again if you prefer lightweight textures and you don't want a heavy cream on your face it's nice that after a while you're not feeling like you're wearing sunscreen there's nothing worse than feeling like you have something on your face and that you can't be free to move about and like touch your face and do this other stuff so that's what i like about this is that after a while you stop feeling it on your face again that means that when you do come to reapply sunscreen later on in the day it doesn't feel like you're just layering on top and clogging your skin i think for me the lightweightness of it is the main selling point this really reminds me of the paula's choice what's it called it's like the youth extending moisturizer sunscreen they both have a similar consistency they're both quite runny very lightweight and they both leave you looking brown although i would say that this thank you farmer sunscreen is a lot more like dewy it's a lot more moisturizing as you can see my face is looking super glowy which i like it's not looking as glowy as say when i use the super goop play sunscreen or as glowy as if i use the black girl sunscreen but it's still giving a nice healthy glow so i feel like i could just go outside like this or if i wanted to i could put some makeup on the top and everything would still look nice and uniform so that is a plus really for me the only negative side to this sunscreen was that it gave me a rash <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that it had given me a rash i would have already finished this sunscreen i would have already filmed this video about the sunscreen and i wouldn't be feeling nervous about wearing the sunscreen but aside from the rash aspect I love this on screen and I would really recommend it. Although what I do find interesting is that I didn't get the rash straight away. The rash came about a week after I had used it. So I would say patch test, but because I didn't react to it straight away, I'm not really sure if I would recommend patch testing, but I would say, you know, still give it a try if you do want to try it out. Also, I was using some other products as well, so the sunscreen may not have been the root cause of my rash, but in the in the theme of being as transparent with you guys as possible, I do have to say that it did give me a rash, which is sad because I did really like this, and I was gonna say that this is probably one of my, out of all of the cold beauty sunscreens that i bought this was probably my second favorite obviously the super good play sunscreen was just out of this world amazing but this was my second favorite sunscreen that i bought from cold beauty so i was a bit upset that it did give me a rash hi guys so i'm currently editing this video and i just wanted to jump on to say that having used the thank you farmer sunscreen for a bit more time my face didn't break out in a rash i didn't have anything bad happen to my skin so i take back everything i said about the sunscreen giving me a rash that said i'm now thinking that the first time i used the thank you farmer sunscreen that either it was another product that gave me the rash or it was a combination of using the sunscreen with some of the other products i was using at the time that gave me the rash just because having used that sunscreen for a bit more time i didn't notice anything on my skin anything like that my skin just looked normal and it felt good afterwards so i just wanted to jump on quickly to let you guys know p.s guys make sure you stay tuned to my channel for future sunscreen videos because i have been using some new sunscreens and i cannot wait to share them with you spoiler alert right now i am wearing a sunscreen that i've been using for the last couple of weeks and i love it anyway guys let's get back into the video the million dollar question in terms of if i would buy the sunscreen again personally no <laughs> but not because i dislike it again i would just not buy it because it gave me a rash however i'm using it again this time around because i'm in between sunscreens and this was the only sunscreen that i had so 
we will see if it gives me a rash this time around then it'll be a definite no but if this doesn't give me a rash then i can definitely see myself rebuying this because i do really like it i think for the size and the price it is a bit pricey it's 18 pounds for 50 mils but on the spectrum of sunscreen and price it's not as expensive as say the zelen sunscreen even the super goop sunscreen it kind of sits in like a mid price point so if you do have an extra 20 pounds to spare and you're looking for a new sunscreen or a sunscreen that is lightweight will give you a nice kind of glow smells a bit nice then this is definitely something that you should look into i'm going to have the cult beauty website linked down below so you can check out this product in a bit more detail and read more reviews a lot of the reviews that i've been reading on cult beauty is everyone just saying how nice it is how it absorbs quickly into the skin um it applies really well it's lightweight people really enjoyed using this in the summer i know that now summer is long gone but for my australian followers who are coming into summer this could be something really good to try someone else has mentioned that being a person of color this is so good there's no white cast and you don't have to rub it in for ages i found that i do have to rub it in for quite not for ages but for a bit of time just to make sure that i don't go purple to really let everything sink in but that's just that's just me okay guys so that is all from me in today's video a nice short and sweet sunscreen video if you're looking for a new sunscreen then make sure you check out my sunscreen playlist that playlist is full of every single sunscreen i have used for about two years two and a half years so make sure you check that out if you're looking for a new sunscreen no matter your price point we've got luxury sunscreen more affordable drugstore sunscreens different sunscreens that you've probably not heard of before so make sure you check out that playlist for more sunscreen videos if you have any questions on this thank you farmer sunscreen make sure you leave them down below for me and i'll do my best to answer you if you have any questions on sunscreens in general let me know down below again make sure you check out my sunscreen playlist for more sunscreens and in the meantime i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.